Bumaban na kasi yung gamit. So hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. Today is another beautiful day here in Tamale, in the village in Tamale at Mashogu. And today we are going to make TZ, that's a popular food here in Tamale, that's their staple food, with these leaves. What's the name of these leaves? This what's name? Bra, no, no, you're bra. 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 Okay, this is bra. Bra. Oh, okay. This is bra leaves, which we are going to use for the teaser. They really love leaves. So we are going to wash it. First, you have to put on water to boil. When it's done boiling, then you, 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 you wash it severally, multiple times, and then you put it in to boil. So that's what we are undoing. So I think the water is too much, so that we are fetching some aside. Okay. Can we put it here? Mm -hmm. So you have to wash it multiple times and then put it in. Okay. And okay. Okay, so we are going to leave it. A basic soup for saying, a beche. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. you. No. Okay. So later they will move it, then we start with our TZ. We went down. 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 We went So we are removing the bra. Yeah, I'm 
So we are saving it. This is the bra for our. Uh, is it bra? Is it the sobolo leaves? The sobolo leaves. So bra is sobolo leaves. Habiscus leaves. That's what we are doing. They actually do this to remove the sadness, the bitterness of the leaves. That's why they have to pre cook it and then add cold water in it to settle down. So we are going to start with our teasers. We have to boil water for our teasers. So we bring water to a bowl, then make porridge um, a, a solution with the flour, add it in, and then cook it. Then later she will pound the herrings because we have fish here. We don't have other proteins, other meats with our food. So we're going to put our mm. and feed it. Me fan to my naya kaka. I mean what? So she has to pound the dawa dawa first before adding the canton. After pounding them, adding the canton. So as they said, this this mortar is something that is um, used for anybody, anybody in the household can use it. So when you build your house, you have to get this type of mortar in, in your house so that all the women can use it. It, it smells like uh, Lucas beans. It, it is really smelly, but I I know in Ghana they smelly things. They taste really good. Don't underestimate the, the aroma that you get from this. Uh, that's the aroma. <laughs> So like this small broom is serving like as a, a um, spatula to arrange it so that you can get everything. They don't use it for anything, it, they use it for just this 
mortar purpose for food. Water. Okay. You can put it in. Water. 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 So we are going to pound the bra, that's hibiscus uh, leaves, we are going to pound it after cooking you pound it, okay, as I said this is a multi-purpose uh, mortar, everything goes in, flour, soft, hard, uh, anything. So we are going to add in onion. Alabasa. Alabasa. Onion. Okay. So these are the sliced onion. Okay. So we are going to pour in the onion. So this one too is done. We are going to scoop it. We are going to scoop it aside. Okay. I like this mortar. I like how it serves. It's a multi-purpose thing in there community like it serves so much and the motor we 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 i didn't feel say toile toile no i didn't feel say a check a check i think what do we cry yes so number two yeah but you know what hey hey you know but you know what hey 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 so <laughs> we are going to add it in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we are going to add the bra in it. Mm. The soup. This looks so healthy. So healthy. When you see a northerner, you say they are very strong because of the food they are making sometimes we only eat tz we like in the southern part of ghana we are used to tz with just ayoyo and then stew but there are a lot of, of of soups that they can make that when you and eat it with you accompany it with the tz that's the chiozafi you will love it we have no we know of this one we know of ayoyo we know of a uh, uh, dried okra we know of everything. I don't even remember the name right now, but there are lots of soups. Lots, lots, lots of soups. So we shouldn't be limited to just one soup in the southern sector of Ghana. This is spring onion. Dried, crushed spring onion. So this is the powder of the spring onion, which they really love here in the northern sector of Ghana. So we are going to pour it in our soup. Gabo. It's called Gabo. Gabo. Uh -huh. So you pour it in. It's like an aroma for spice for our soup. And then, menu. Mm. You mix it. Very soon, our, our water will boil, will boil very well. And then we'll start with our tea. Okay, so we are going to add in salt to taste. Because when I tasted it, it was too small. Okay, I'm going to just added insults to taste. Whoosh! <laughs> it's very leafy. 
you can actually taste the the bra the hibiscus leaves mm. so we are waiting for it to get cooked and then i don't know why is that is the tea that water boiling ehuru so we are waiting for the, the teaser to the water to boil, then we start with our teaser. So we are going to Okay, so we are going to scoop some of the porridge aside. As always, you have to use the porridge as your reservoir so that later when you mix your flour and your cassava flour in the porridge on top of the fire, you use this one to soften it up. Okay. So this is our cassava flour, okay, our cassava, and then our corn flour. We can't cook the porridge, the teozafi, without cassava, or else the, the, the food is going to get so hard. So when kneading it, we have to mix the cassava and then the kokonte together and put it in. Mm -hmm. Cassava, nini. So we add in the cassava, cassava and the kukonte flour together, put it in.
We are tasting it. It's this. Adesh! 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 The cassava, and then the soup is uh, it's not sour, it's not bitter, but you taste, you feel it's, you can taste that it's leaves, like very leafy, and then you get some of the crunchiness of the Lucas beans and then the herrings that we put inside. It tastes really good. It tastes really good. Mm. 